Fans of the Bible, get ready to dive headfirst into one of the most intriguing mysteries found within the book of Revelation. If you've ever read those captivating passages and wondered who on earth, or in heaven, the 144,000 are, you're definitely not alone. This enigmatic group has sparked intense fascination and debate within the Christian community for centuries. Let's break this puzzle down and uncover the secrets of these chosen individuals. Who are they? We get our first glimpse of the 144,000 in Revelation chapter 7. Here's the lowdown as described in the vision of John. Jewish heritage, the Bible clearly paints them as belonging to the 12 tribes of Israel, with 12,000 individuals carefully selected from each tribe. Divine protection, they are sealed by God, receiving a special mark of protection from the devastating judgments to befall the earth during the tribulation period. Spiritual virginity, in a later scene, in Revelation 14, they're described as virgins, but this is likely a symbolic way of highlighting their spiritual purity and unwavering devotion to God. But what's their purpose? Now, this is where the fascination really kicks in. Are they a literal group representing some special segment of humanity? Or are they a symbolic picture of something far greater? Let's explore the two main schools of thought. The literal interpretation. Many believe the 144,000 are literal Jewish believers, specially marked by God, who will become dedicated evangelists during the tumultuous time of the Great Tribulation. This perspective often aligns with premillennial and dispensational outlooks on biblical prophecy. Their mission? To spread the gospel of Jesus Christ to a world in dire need of hope. The symbolic interpretation. Others see the 144,000 as a vast symbolic representation of the entire church, God's redeemed people from all ages. Think of it like this. The number, the number 12 is a recurring theme in the Bible, representing God's people. Think of the 12 tribes of Israel or Jesus' 12 disciples. Squaring 12 symbolizes completeness, while multiplying by 1,000 suggests a vast, uncountable quantity. The seal, the seal can be interpreted as the Holy Spirit, marking believers as God's own throughout history. Global picture, this perspective emphasizes the universal nature of the church, uniting believers from all nations and backgrounds. So, what's the verdict? Honestly, the Bible provides room for both interpretations. The book of Revelation is filled with symbolic imagery, so deciphering it can be quite a puzzle. The important thing is this, the 144,000 represent God's unwavering love and protection for His faithful people throughout time, whether they're a specific, future group serving on the front lines of the gospel or a symbolic representation of the entire church, they are a testament to the glorious triumph that awaits all who choose to follow Jesus Christ. Their role may be a matter of debate, but there's one thing we can all be certain of, they stand as an elect group, divinely preserved, and ultimately victorious in the face of overwhelming darkness. Their story reminds us that even in the most chaotic of times, God's people will not be forsaken. If you're intrigued to explore this topic further, there are a plethora of resources and videos available that delve deeper into the mysteries of Revelation. Who knows, you might just be inspired to uncover your own insights into this captivating prophecy.